Okay, now that we've shot our photographs, let's go ahead and edit them. I've got uh, mine in the photography folder here, but we want to find the app called Photo Toaster. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up Photo Toaster. And then our choices here are really the one we need to use is we need to go to the photo library and get our photos. So I'm going to go here and go to camera roll. And let's see, we started off with the shadow one, right? So let me just look through here. Um, da, 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 da. I think I like this guy the best. If not, you can always just go back, you know, and pick a different one using the same process. All right, who do we have? This guy. All right, so there's my guy. Not, you can't really see much of a shadow here, so I want to fix that. Uh, the first thing I always do is I always crop the photo. So I'm going to go in here to crop. And let's just see what we got here. That's, um, let's, uh, there's the original one that we have here. Uh, I'm picking, these are all the different sizes we can crop to. I'm going with this one here, which is, which is square, because of, uh, I'm going to be using this on Instagram, so I want to use square. So it's this one right here, square. It's the last one on the, the right side there. And then as I move it around, I get the little grid lines, and I want my guy right here on these grid lines right here. So that's perfect. That's a nice crop for my photo. Hit the little uh, check mark there. Now let's go ahead and add a filter to it. We want to add a, a filter. So down here there's a little um, globe down here. Let me move my iPad up a little bit so you can see that. Uh, tap on the little globe. And I want to go with, uh, usually it'll start on on basics here. And I'm trying to just scroll through here. I'm just looking at all these little previews and find something that has a really heavy shadow in it. And seeing if I like something. Let me tap here again. Go to Deluxe now. Just trying to see if there's something with a heavy shadow. No. No, I don't think any of these. Maybe this vivid one. Let me just go to the last one here, which are the Supreme ones. And Don. Hmm, who has this hardest shadow? X Tech. Just go, so you're just trying to find the one that just gives you the effect you want. And since this project is about shadows, I really want to have mine looking good. So let me just go back through here. I think I saw one back in Deluxe here that I kind of liked. It's Vanity Fair. Black and white portrait, no. Dynamic black and white. Blue Bayou. Oh, there we go. Actually, it was the last one on there, so good thing I kept looking around. So Blue Bayou, it, look, it makes this shadow dark here, which is what I want for my shadow photo. So this is great. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to add some text to this. So I'm going to tap the little share button up here, and it should give you the choice about being able to go to Title Effects. So it switches over now to Title Effects. I double tap, and I type in the word shadow. Or if you did reflection, you type in reflection right here. Hit the little check mark. There we go. And then I can move that down out of the way here. And I'm going to change the font. That's a very boring font. That's just Helvetica. So I'm going to just tap on this first F right here. And I'm going to go with this um, key tin. I like that one. It's a nice font. And move it over into this corner. And I usually like to put an effect on it like a light shadow. Yeah, get it? Light shadow on the shadow one. And there's what we get in the end. We have a nice text down here. It's a nice square photo, so it works well with Instagram. And then we can just go ahead and export this. So tap the share button up here, and you want to share it um, to your camera photo library. So you just tap on the photo library right here, and it will export it out to the photo library. All right, let's just do another one right from the beginning on that one again. So I'm just going to start my photo toaster app. Hit back here, get to this screen here so we can go ahead and access our photo library. Go to camera roll, and I think our next one was the flower. So let me just take one of these flower photos here. Uh, I always like to crop first, so I'm going to tap my crop button up there. Tell that I want to crop, change it to a square crop. And in this case, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so I don't cut off any of the edges of the flower. There we go. Tap the check mark and go down the little globe down here. And let me just find a nice filter. Vivid, moody, sun-kissed. Look at these ones. You just kind of have to try to find the ones that just are best trying to go. Now, since this is a flower, I definitely don't want it in black and white. I want something really great here. I like this vivid. This looks great. So I'm going to keep it like that. Tap my little share button up here. Send it over to Title Effects. And I want to 
since this one is our macro, you'll call each one what the assignment was. So macro, move this to a better font. I think the best one is that key tin. It makes for such a nice font with the uh, light shadow effect, so it's nice and readable off of there. Move that down to the corner there, so it's out of the way. So each photo needs to be labeled what assignment it was. And then once I've done that, share button, send it to the photo library, and send to photo albums. There we go. Now if we go into our photo albums, you'll be able to see that it's in there. Here I am in camera roll. Let me just scroll down to the bottom. There's our guy with shadow written on him. And here's our macro one right here. So go ahead and add those effects and add the text. Now if it doesn't automatically go to the text editor, you can just go ahead and open up that app and bring in the photo just like normal, as always.